Hello, this is Guava Moment here with the results for week 6. The first challenge, turning gold into lead. Uh, gold is element 79, lead is element 82, difference of 3. So I think by far the simplest way to do things is to split one gold down until you get lithium. Fuse that lithium into gold and to get another lead. Now since 79 doesn't go cleanly into 82 via any method of fusion or fission, most reactions are going to have garbage left over. I designed this reaction uh, without even using the sensor, just kind of to see if I could, and it has the waste left over of osmium. So since you need 10 leads, there's going to be 10 osmium left over. The best way is just to bond all this garbage together and make a whole bunch of osmium waste. And I think this is the simplest way to do it, but it's certainly not the fastest. So let's see some other methods and what kind of garbage they make. Amro was one of a couple people to realize that any atom, if you split it down, it's going to end up as lithium at some point unless that atom is exactly a power of 2. In this case we're talking about gadolinium, element 64, which is 2 to the power of 6. What does that mean? That means he can just take his thing and drop it and keep splitting it down. So osmium, tantalum, uh, holmium's in there, ytterbium. Each time you split these down, you're going to end up with a lithium eventually until Solium. right here element 64 if you keep splitting that one down you will not get a lithium so that's a garbage atom and I just drop it there out of the way but you're already halfway done the next time he makes a gadolinium atom it's it would collide with this but the reaction will be done so who did I say this was made by Amro and I like the uh, four square fuse fission cycle here he's got that makes this a uh, a little bit of a fast solution. Meatbag Esquire, and oh, just to start off, whenever I see a solution that has a bunch of different chemical sensors, each one having a different element on them, you know something neat is gonna happen. So he splits everything down and puts everything nice and orderly, and uh, somehow goes and grabs each element and brings and that over splits that down to lithium ending up with nothing but helium waste. And then when this little loop here fuses all of his helium waste together. Now these solutions I think are really clever because uh, I didn't, I never even tried building one, but getting a flip-flop thing to get all of these uh, daughter products and correctly bring them in the right order to fuse them down to, or fission them down to lithium. It's uh, very clever. And building up your nice he little helium garbage ball and you're done. Added Space also did a helium waste solution, but he only has the one sensor here. He has a whole weird complex of flip-flops to correctly bring all of these atoms together, which I think is uh, really clever. And then, again, a little tight loop to fuse all of your uh, helium waste together. So Added Space ended up with 365 cycles. Orthogonalis had a system that has a fuse fission cycle that's very quick and efficient and builds up osmium waste. I really like this one, this uh, right here. That's a very, very quick and efficient way of doing that. Building up your osmium waste and getting a little bit faster. Content Context did something really weird, which, well, it looks weird, but when you think about it, yeah, it makes sense. He builds up well, it has to take go for a while, let's see here. So he does a thing where it looks like he just grabs one atom and keeps splitting it down to lithium until holmium. He ends up with holmium waste. Now why does he do that? Because uh, if you take gold and you split four lithiums out of it, then you'll end up with holmium. Getting a four counter flip-flop is a lot easier than getting a five counter flip-flop, so he ends up with well, two and a half holmium waste or something and it ends up being a little bit faster, so I thought that was pretty clever. Wild M has a very good fuse fission cycle right there with blue just going by two cycles. Ugh, very fast, I like that. And he builds up uh, osmium waste as well. For uh, some of you people, if you're feeling bad about destroying gold this way, just know that the osmium waste is also pretty valuable. Uh, the cost varies, but osmium somewhere between 10% to half the cost of gold by weight. So it's still a pretty expensive element. So thanks to this really, really, really fast fusion f fission cycle there, Wildem gets under 300 cycles. 
Cannibal K9. Uh, this is a cool one. Starts bonding his fission products together, has a special exception case for Neon, and then grabs all of those and bonds them together again, and... Man, what is even going on here? This sure is a, kind of a confusing one, but he, uh, I can see he's building up helium waste, taking all of his daughter products and bringing them back in. This was a really clever solution. It's under 250 cycles. Like My fastest solution was 611 cycles, so getting one this low I thought was really impressive, so congratulations Cannibal K9. But more congratulations go to Serbaldrig. This was one of, I think, the only solution I saw that doesn't build up any waste whatsoever. Well, as far as the solution is only limited by 10 leads. So let's drop a helium here. Get your lithium, do that. Split your helium. Because, well, three heliums equals two lithiums. Fuse all of that together, and you're done. You still got lithium there. Drop a hydrogen, helium, fuse all that together. So this solution does not build up any waste. And gets the number one solution with 232 cycles. Though I have to wonder what that's doing there and why that just doesn't hit the wall immediately. You can save two or two symbols that way, but still number one solution. And now for giant blocks of lead. Here's how not to do it. Uh, I made this solution months and months ago when I first found this custom assignment on Reddit, I think. Uh, I thought the best way would be to individually move atoms together and bond them. Yeah, don't do that. It works, it's kind of low symbol, but it's very, very, very slow. There's pretty much every solution submitted was uh, by someone who put a lot of effort into this was faster than this. So Halfwit will show us the much more obvious way of speeding this up by building a four long stick of lead and then having the other one, the other Waldo, move around and bond it all correctly. Kind of pretty to look at. And much faster than my solution. Nethris comes and takes it to the next level. And gets under a thousand cycles. Serbaldrig comes along and gives us the number 3 solution. Uh, you'll see a lot of similarities between number 3, 2, and number 1. By having build a 4 long stick, the other Waldo kind of moving things in a way that everything seems to be moving or building or creating all at the same time with no wasted cycles. And then the lead sensor to do some exceptions at the very end so that it outputs properly. And under 900 cycles. I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, I really got schooled this round. My solutions were pretty much close to last on both challenges. This was submitted by Alien Spore. He's some Chinese guy. I have a, I have Chinese viewers apparently. Hello, China. They uh, posted my thread and uh, the challenges on their forum. I, I can't read it, but they're still submitting it. Good thing Space Chem is a universal language. He manages to squeeze out a couple more cycles and just barely beat Serbaldrig's time. But where would a Space Chem challenge be without Cannibal K9 giving us the number one solution? With the fastest typewriter thing that anyone has submitted. Now that's, this, this is pretty. Very hypnotizing, everything's moving in sync and perfectly with almost no wasted cycles anywhere. It's a thing of beauty. And there's your number one solution for lead. Well, I'll see you all next week for a couple of challenges that I think are really neat. There's nothing like it in the main game. And then there's only one more week after that until we get to the round of 16 in the single elimination tournament. I'll see you then.